Hey up guys, Andre T. Kemp here and today we are going to be making a log burner. Now the type of log burner that we're going to make is going to be a micro log burner. They go in things like caravans, camper vans, sheds, little workshops, summer houses, anywhere that you have a small structure that needs a small amount of heat to get it up to a nice temperature. So we've got some designs. The drawings that I've made will show you how small it is. Literally 150 mil by 250 mil. That's the main body. And then of course we've got some feet and stuff like that to add some height. In my original sketch, I put on a little hot plate so you can warm a pot of tea or some soup or something like that on the log burner. So it's got two little functions, heating and cooking or warming or something like that. I also wanted to have a little ash collection tray. First things first, I'm going to be making the thing out of three mil mild steel. So I'm going to lay that down, clean it up, put our cutting plan on it so we can get started. I've got my three mil steel here nice and cleaned up and my basic little plans. So as I said before, it's 150 mil by 250 mil, which means that we're going to have to do a little cutting pattern or template on this. I'm going to start by producing some 250 by 150 rectangles and some 250 and 250 squares. Got my square, got my rule, got my pen. Let's go. Now that we've got the plates cut and deburred, we can think about what we're going to do for the door. So I've drawn this up, a little uh, picture of how I think it's going to be. We're going to have some glass in there and then a little frame for the glass to be held in. And this is going to be a, I don't know what you'd call it, a stop, a cork, a bung. Anyway, it's basically going to be another piece of three mil that sits on top of the door's three mil, sort of like that. And then it will sit on the inside so the door has something to stop against. And also it should help with smoke retention and stuff like that, keeping all the smoke in. So yeah, we need to cut out a door hole. Then we need to cut the material for the door. Then we'll figure out what to do after that. We're going to deburr these edges and try and get them straight as well. Look at that, that's from the, where we started.
Got everything tacked up, it's looking nice and three dimensional. It would be very easy to forget ourselves at this point and go ahead and make the lid and tack it on. However, first we need to make the grill. So I've got this round bar that I've got nice and polished up. They are different sizes from one another, so we're gonna alternate welding them in thick and thin. Once we've got that in, we can then make the lid and start thinking about making the doors and the tray. So let's get going. So we've got the stove welded up and looking nice and three-dimensional. We've got the round bar fitted inside and also I've rounded off the edges. Now at this stage, we're ready to start fabricating the door. I've made this little insert, which is gonna go inside like so. And the second part of the door is gonna overlap the frame. This is to help increase smoke retention. After that, we can think about making some hinges and the locky shutty door mechanism. Now I did want to make a door that had a glass front. However, I'm struggling to find a supplier for the heat-proof tempered glass that I need. So until then, I'm gonna crack on making a normal door, and if I can get hold of some glass, I'll probably make one of them as well. In one of my previous videos, you saw me make some tooling for my fly press. Well, now we get to put it to some use because the door that we've made, since welding it, has undergone a little bit of heat warp. So that bow, we need to try and take that out so we can get this as flat as possible so that it fits flush against the frame at the front of the stove. Hopefully, that will stop the smoke escaping. So we're gonna use the fly press to bend this back so that it's nice and straight. The tooling I'm gonna to use isn't gonna be the sharp rad one that we made the other week. It's gonna be this. I've just knocked it up now. It's basically just a piece of 10 mil plate. I put a big radius on the top, set up two little risers, lay the plate between the risers, and then use the punch to slowly put some pressure on to try and get rid of that bend. So we've got this straightened out and it fits nice and flush to the front of the stove. Now it's time for us to make the hinges. In my little drawings, I thought of a hinge that's made out of two pieces of three mil sheet sandwiched together like that with a bolt drop through them so they can move. What I'm gonna do instead is on the top piece, I'm gonna have a peg welded in with a certain amount of thread in so that when the peg goes through the hole on the second piece, and you put a nut on the end, the nut doesn't completely sandwich them together and make it impossible to open. You've got to remember when this heats up, things are going to expand and we don't want it to expand the hinge to the point where you can't get it open to add more fuel. <laughs>
that's it for part one I'm afraid. For those of you that are still watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss part two. For those of you on social media, check out the Andre T. Kemp Instagram page, at Andre T. Kemp, that's one word, for exclusive news, behind the scenes, competitions, giveaways, and more. And as always, thanks for watching.